Uh, once again, good morning. My name is Larel Gerard, the teacher Calypsonian. And um, this is the sixth annual USVI Walk of Fame Music Awards video shoot. Uh, I'm so happy to see many of you. I know many other people wanted to come, but uh, I received a text yesterday from Rashidi. He's in Russia. So he can't be here to accept the awards, but he sent his, sent his thank you and he sent someone, she'll, explain, she'll tell us her name when she comes up to receive the awards for him and for Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan is very busy. He also sent a message, which I was grateful for. I don't mind that if they can't be here because I know they did a lot when it came time to the hurricane in St. Thomas and the hurricane in St. Croix. First of all, I'd like to introduce to you from the class of 1973, we have some members here, of which um, our esteemed governor, Honorable Kenneth Mapp, is a part of the class. We have Ms. Maria Friday, <laughs> and Edley, and we can't um, do without allowing my good buddy, Doug Canton, member of the class. <laughs> Doug, can you come quickly? <laughs> yeah. You can say something. This is my first time here. He didn't invite me before. <laughs> no, actually, I, I'm happy to be here. And, and it's great that we are honoring our people like this. And I commend him in particular because his motivation is purely one of, of community. And that means that when all the fluff and flash gone, Lariel will still be there doing what Lariel does. So I, I commend him, encourage him, support him, and hopefully be an inspiration to others to follow in same, similar footsteps. I'm going to take this opportunity to just say welcome, and I want um, everyone to just give Lariel a grand round of applause. All that you see and all the love that you embrace is just from the goodness of his heart. He had been doing this by himself three years ago. Miss Edney and myself joined him to help him out in whatever we can, but the awardees, every, everything that you find in your little bag is just love, caring, and appreciation for a community person. He believes in music and he, believe it, he believes in the art and the talent that we have in the Virgin Islands. Lariel, we love you. Thank you, uh, Annie. <laughs> well, Annie's a shy one. <laughs> Okay, she said to tell you she good. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna present to Bogo. To Darren Bogo Stevens, this award is awarded to you a certificate in recognition of singer, radio DJ, Calypsonian show, MC. Anytime you have a Calypso show, you always will find Google being the Calypso MC in St. Croix or St. Thomas, and I think abroad also. This is awarded to you at Galloway's Restaurant the 29th day of June, 2018. We were so happy that I can capture, if you look on there, you'll see, I taught his son in school. I was able to get a picture of both of them. So we have Google there and Google and his son, Darren. Okay, um, we'd like to throw, show you, Mara will show you your trophy. Uh, we try to put a little light because of recognition of Al Baptist Sr. Uh, it started at his studio, and Tom Ada from the St. Croix Avis in 2013 came to film the event. But what happened was that um, we had already taken down the set waiting for them. So when he had to call me and then we put back up the set and he came and he filmed the event there. So Bogo, um, we have um, some other things in, inside the bag. You, you get a chance to look at them, you know? Chocolate. Chocolate. Enjoy. Um, good morning to everybody. First and foremost, I have to give thanks and praise to the Mosai 
for creating today for us to be here. I uh, definitely would like to thank Mr. Girard for doing such a task here in the community. Um, a lot of times we would give individuals the flowers when they pass on, but I definitely want to thank Mr. Girard for stepping up to the plate and recognizing the individuals that are carrying the Virgin Islands, not just at home, but abroad. And um, sometimes we don't think, even though we do things and we are not per se looking for anything in return, when things like this happen, it inspires others to get involved. They might look at it and say, well, I want to get involved because I like to see that trophy. But when they do get involved, it's a different feeling and it's a different element and ain't nothing better than volunteering and helping your community. Um, being a volunteer in this community in all different aspects, whether it's health, sports, um, social gatherings, it has enhanced my life and made me a better person. So Mr. Gerard, I want to thank you and the entire committee for stepping up to the plate and doing something and sticking with it regardless of the two hurricanes that we experience because most of us will just like give up. Let's do it and next year. And we had a lot of organizations who did that this year, but you stick it out and, and get it and got it done. And you know, as I just said, thanks to Mr. Galloway for stepping up to the plate and giving the facilities so that you can carry this out. I said thank you very much and I really appreciate of it. Oh <laughs> yes, and he he, he, he made I, I don't like to do that, but because when we're here for a certain situation, uh, I just want us to stick to that, but he Tell me to make sure to let you guys know, you know, I'm running for Senate this year. I'm an independent candidate, so we'll see you in November. Thank you very much. Thanks again, Bobo. And now we'll present to Nikki Brooks. Many of you have known this young lady. She's not here. Um, her mom is here. She's going to say some remarks. Um, Nikki. I was in touch with her through Facebook, and um, she's away right now, you know. Um, to Nikki Brooks, awarded this certificate in recognition of Farmer Calypso Monarch, first female Calypso Monarch on St. Croix Virgin Islands for festival. Singer, and um, Nikki did many videos, and she's still really doing videos. I guess she's abroad on tour. I'm not really sure. Her mom can explain some more. But it's awarded at Galloway's Restaurant this 29th day of June, 2018. And there are some other things. Uh, Mario will have to show you how to put on the light uh, what we're gonna do is we'll take one star of the of um, light tree and put it on because we won't have enough time to put on all the rest. Oh. Yeah, um, I wanted to give everyone a star of light tree. So if you didn't get a star of light tree, you can contact me because it should be coming in pretty soon. So some of you will have um, some that say 2017, because that's a reminder of the hurricane that almost shut down the whole thing here today. And there's other stuff in the back, you know. These are Nikki's children. We're glad that they're here today also. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just don't like mics. <laughs> but in this occasion, I have to. On um, behalf of Nikki, I want to thank you all for this honor. Um, I know Larry Algera for many years, and he's always been at it. Um, he's nonstop. 
I want to thank um, the organization for giving Nikki this award. You know, Nikki, music is her life. She just don't stop, just like Larry or Gerard. And she's away making music and probably some videos. So um, I have her two kids here, um, Nivia McDonald and Kimar McDonald. Um, I guess they want to say something too. Okay. Thank you very much for giving my mom this award. Um, thank you to the community for supporting her in all her years. Okay, thank you again. Bye. Okay, next we have Ren Hall Rookie Jackson. Okay, and if he's not here, oh, I forgot to tell you this is his name, Walk of Fame. That means we get the award to you if you're not here. Okay, we have um, Dimitri Pikey Copeman. He's not here? Okay. Let's welcome this person. You saw his picture in the newspaper recently. Um, Wilfred Juni Bomba Alec. And I'm going to tell you something. I start from, like, when this is over with today, I have to start tomorrow. It's not an easy task because a lot of people don't have uh, phone numbers in the phone books anymore. And even if they do, you call in those numbers and you can't get anybody. But Juni, I met him at Subway. And when I told him that I'm going to be honoring him, because for a man that plays the, the um, well, we know the conga, but he does the conch shell, great conch shell blower. And I stopped and I talked to him, and you know, he just gave me his number. And um, he said to me, when it's time, just get in touch with him. And we're glad that he's here today. Juni, can you come forward? Okay, um, I was hoping that Pikey would have been here because we have a picture of Pikey, my cousin King Derby, Pumper, um, Darren Richards, and we have um, Wilfred Juni Bomba Alec in the same picture, the word Sunny L. I don't know how I got this photo, but I did. Okay, this music achievement certificate is awarded to Wilfred Juni Bomba Alec in recognition of being a musician, Kong shell blower, plays the conga and played with, he will tell you what other bands he played with, you know. It's awarded at Galloway's record this 29th day of June, 2018. There is a picture of you, you guys, yeah. Um, like I said before, we always have a light to remember Al Baptiste Senior because he started to help me. And I miss him because I used to get the information from him. We wanted to recognize people from the 50s, 60s, but it's a hard job. I'm doing St. Thomas. Well, later I'll come and I'll explain to you who I'm doing for St. Thomas. Let's give him a chance to say some words. Good morning, everybody. I want to say thank you to the higher powers today for giving me the opportunity to be here one more time in our universe. I'm proud of the other honorees who have been honored. I hope it won't be the last time. I hope we have a better place and we will have more people here Mr. Gerard, I want to thank you and the organization very much for, I know it was hard for you, I hear you on Mario's show, begging for a place to keep this thing. You know, I'm going to say this this morning. This year in St. Croix, especially St. Croix, where part we live, and we say we love, we've got raised children, 
We gonna have grandchildren, great grandchildren when we pass on. And we do a lot to try and do the best because we love here and we grew up here. Now I gonna say this. You know, Mr. Dirac should have had like a place where this place should have been so pack of people, parents, whoever. And look look up look up every day. Now, do you all believe this year is an election year? Like Bobo said and Mr. Kanta running. And a lot of them running. Cause you could see all them posters on the side of the road. Right? Can you tell me, right? Sitting here this man, standing here speaking to you this morning, that we can do better. We can do better for we and our children. Because our children watching what we're doing, you know. And they learn from us, we learn from our parents before we leave out the house. We were disciplined. And we left our parents' house with respect for one another. So when we got out in the community, we respect the community and the people in the community. It's a serious time, you know. I mean, I them and borrow time. I'm a senior. I don't eat that food. You know, I stop that because it won't do no good for my body. I'm making 72 November this year. And I could run from here to Felix Stella and don't self get tired. Because I love myself and I love my island and I want to stay as long as the Creator have me to be here, to share back with my people and here who I love. This is my home. Grew up here. So this morning I thank Mr. Gerard. I glad he got a place. Hopefully next time when we have this thing that we go have a, a Better thing going on. Something that it could be jam up here, music, food, whatever. You know, bring out the children then. And um, I'm gonna say I appreciate it very much. I've been honored before by a lot of different organizations here and abroad. And I have a token here for you, because I can't just come here and take something and don't give back something. I won't raise so. So I'm going to give you my bio, holy space, and a little token to wear. And this is, my, this is my website. I do sculpture art. I ship all over the world. Kangshell art. I do all kind of things. So, brother man, God bless you. Bless those who've been honored today, and the family, and the children. And hopefully, next time, when we have this function, we will have like a hundred people or more. Thank you again, brother. Thank you so much, Tony. Um, and next year, we'll be considering having it in the evening, but you know, when you first started, start out with something, you have to creep and crawl before you could get actually there. Okay, to move along, we'd like to present to Mr. Hilary Bagarizendi. Now I'm going to tell you, <laughs> Bill Bass was honored many years ago. I remember writing a song and Baga, a couple of years ago, I was singing the song was something about shit. You, I ain't going to say the word, you know what I mean. And you are the song. And he tell me, you're in the same fellow that um, was in the St. Christ Central High School Steel Band class of 1973 that we carried to California. <laughs> So, the reason why I said Baga must be honored now when he's still alive is because we left in 2002 of December and were in the parade on January 1st, 1973. Um, his close friend Masai passed on. I was in Antigua when they honored Baga and Masai in Antigua for Carnival a couple of years ago. Well, like I said, Bill Bass get honored. So, Baga, you come forward. Yes, this music achievement certificate is presented to Hilary Bagarizendi 
for steel pan tuner and steel band instructor. Um, I don't know if many of you know, Baga have played with many bands, too many pans, and I'll let him tell you the rest. But at Galloway's Restaurant this 29th of June, 2018, we're presenting to Baga his award. And I told him he didn't, he couldn't find his copies of the Central High School class steel band. So I made some copies. I wish I could have been get them in yellow, how they were in the parade, but I don't know where to find those actual photos. So he has two of them that he can frame. Um, let, let, it, let, let him see. We have a, this is the float with the queens. And this is the one that Bill Bass was up in front. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we had to go through, they would pull us off the road because the, the flatbed where the queens had stopped. We had a little problem and then they put us back on, you know. Um, this is a small token. Um, the reason why you, many of you might see the torch is because this award was first started to pass on this from one generation to the next. I tried with a different manufacturer to get this much bigger, but right now we're having some problems. And again, there's a light inside here in recognition of Alwyn Baptist Senior. And there's some other stuff inside. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and Mr. Gerald, I'd like to say thank you. And it's so nice that somebody out there who decided to just come forward and do something like recognizing me, Julie, and many other people in the community. When you think that all is, all is gone, there's nothing left. There's nobody to even say, Baha, what happened, boy? Oh, Julie, what's going on? There's just one here. I've turned this into Award for us. You make me feel alive, boy. This morning I feel alive. This morning I want to go home and tune pants. I want to teach young people. I tried to do it and I was knocked down. But you this morning has lifted me up. I'm going home and pick up my hammers and them and I'm going to craft. And a lot of people, if I may say this, a lot of people think that steel band tuning is guesswork. It's not. We're talking about geometry, trigonometry. There's educational stuff involved in making a steel band instrument. And, and I don't get me all started up requiring a stop. I would just like to say again, thank you, Mr. Gerard, and may God bless you. Let me give you a hug. And thank you. Thank everybody for coming. Thank you. We can't let Ms. Rizende go because Ms. Rizende was a teacher at St. Christ Central High School when our class was going there. So we say thank you for coming also. All right. Uh, Kadijo Guabina, I don't know if he's here. Oh, he is. Thank you, come forward. <laughs> now this young man, remembers me from Paul B. Larson School, but you have to forget. <laughs> I, um, I taught so many students that I don't remember when it, everybody's faces have changed, you know? So you could explain when it's your time, where you remember. <laughs> Okay, this Music Achievement Certificate is awarded to Khadija Kwabina for musician and music instructor. I found out afterwards it's at Central High School. Okay. And it's being awarded at Galloway's Restaurant this 29th day of June, 2018. I was trying to get your picture, but I didn't. Yeah. Um, Mara will give you your trophy. 
And again, there's a light in there. And like I said, for those who did not get the Star of Light tree, just get to me because they'll be coming in soon. And I'll give you one. Yeah. Um, while we're doing that, we had um, uh, last year or the year before, we had people waving the lights in remembrance of Al. I wanted to have the stars, a place that we could put the stars, but I went through so many problems with VI Council and the arts and other um, organizations that I decided to just put the star on the person's award. And uh, Adi Atli's brother, well, Adi will be recognized soon, but his brother um, wanted me to do a website with all these Calypsonians that I've honored. I was fortunate to honor Taco and the Playboys before he passed away, and many others, but it's your turn now. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Khadija Kwabena. I am one of the music teachers at Central High School. I teach uh, piano, which is a pretty much a dominant instrument here in the island. And I teach vibraphone as well as music theory and music choral. So all of those mus musical things that they need to know when they want to go off to music school, I teach those things, along with Mr. Joints, most of you who know Mr. Joints. So my purpose here on St. Croix, since I came back a few years ago, is to improve the musicianship of St. Croix, not so much the Virgin Islands, but St. Croix, because a lot of us, we uh, tend to know that we like music and we appreciate it, but we don't wanna take it to the next level. The next level meaning reading about it, uh, reading the music, and taking it to that business level. You cannot be successful in music if you don't start thinking about it like a business. And that's where I come in, because I teach you uh, how to take one song and get it recorded, mastered, edited, uh, the marketing section of it. And it's unfortunate no one taught me back then, but I had to learn it out there in uh, music school so that I come back and teach the youths at Central High how to do it because they're, they're musically inspired because you know they listen to pop music and hip hop music and whatever it is that they listen to. But to take it from the bedroom or even a shower to the actual radio, how those steps happen, because it is a process. And for them, they just see the, the end result, which is the money and the fame, but it takes a long time to get to that part, but you have to be consistent. So consistency in music is one good thing. Now, I started learning piano at the age of five. I'm 45 now, so I started learning at five, so it took a while for me to get there. But me, uh, piano is not the only thing that I play. I play other instruments as well. But sooner or later, if we don't take music seriously as a career, you know, a lot of youths, they will just fall by the wayside in thinking everything will be digital. At some point, yes, it is digital, but you're gonna have to pick up an instrument and use it. So that's, that's what I wanna say. So I accept this award on behalf of all the musicians before me and the ones that are with me in my generation now. Thank you. You're telling them where you met me. I, I, I met Mr. Gerard. I was a, a student at Purby Larson School years ago. And I met, he was an art teacher. So I used to, you know, music and art has certain things that, you know, he's a visual artist, I'm a performing artist, and we, you know, we work together. And from then on, I liked art. I used to date a girl that did ceramics. So, you know, she taught me, hey, how art and music go together. So that's how it came about. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, all right. And I think how he does record music because I heard um, online, streaming live from the vi.com, your music. All right. Okay, now this is going to be a special honor. It doesn't matter if he can't be here. It doesn't matter if they can't be here. When we speak of Tim Duncan, I received a call that he is very busy. When we speak of Rashidi Clemens, there's nothing but tears that can come to your eyes 
for what they did with hurricanes that came to St. Croix and St. Thomas, Alma and Maria. Not this Maria here, but this is a friendly Maria. <laughs> um, she will introduce herself because I have her name on my cell phone, but I'll let her do that. She's here to pick up. Tim Duncan will receive a Medal of Honor. I, it's in the bag. I didn't open it. I guess we, uh, when we give it to her, she will decide whether she will want to open it or give it to him. He will receive a trophy and he will receive a star of light tree and some other stuff that's in the bag. You can come forward. So she will be receiving for Tim Duncan and we'll go to Rashidi Clarence. Good morning, Mr. Gerard. Um, I got a message from Rashidi and good morning, everybody. And uh, it's an appreciation message for you. I'd like to thank Mr. Gerard and his committee for the nomination in the year's USVI Walk of Fame Music Award Ceremony. I'm truly honored to be nominated, but more importantly, to be recognized on the same platform with Tim for the meaningful work we did as part of 21 USVI hurricane help. Thank you, and it's with deep regret I couldn't attend. Let's get a round of applause for Tim Duncan. Come on, we could do better than that. <laughs> yes, he's here, but he's here with, in, with us in spirit. On this certificate, it says, Certificate of Achievement is presented to Tim Duncan in recognition of exemplary performance and achievement as a humanitarian with hurricane food drive distribution in the US, United States of the Virgin Islands. He's being awarded the Medal of Honor, and it's in there. He's being awarded a trophy He's being awarded the Star of Light Tree. Nice. He's being awarded some other stuff that's inside of the bag. I joke with Rashidi and I told him he's gonna need a wheelbarrow to come for all these things. <laughs> the, there's, there's, there's a box that there's a box that the trophy will go in and it has the padded stuff so that you don't um, get messed up. Okay. Um, we, uh, I, you have to leave early because we, we have the box. The box is there. And um, while she's here, we're going to um, award Rashidi Clemens. Oh, that's no problem. You could do the reverse. If you have one for Tim Duncan, I don't no, know. I didn't get one for Tim. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Rashidi sent me a message, and he said that Tim Duncan is very busy. He accepts the award, and he's grateful for what we're doing for him. Okay? Um, so when Maria comes back, we present the award for Rashidi. Yes, and let me tell you... Some Junie mentioned it, and um, uh, uh, Baga, this thing is not an easy thing to do. Right now, to get a picture of Tim Duncan, <laughs> it's like you're going to the website, but Tim, uh, I guess that he doesn't publicize himself and put up too many pictures. Rashid is the same thing. I would like to show that I have a picture of Rashidi and Tim looked like they were playing around fishing. So it's on the certificate. On the other certificate for Tim, there's a picture of him with number 21 on his jersey uh, when he was playing with the Spurs. This is to Rashidi Clennon. He's been awarded a Music Achievement Certificate as a radio DJ and the owner of Vivid Streaming Online Radio. Rashidi didn't just stop there. He also was the MC for Miss St. Croix um, Queen Show. And I guess he also did many other um, MCing at other events, you know. This award is going to be, would you believe it, this is the third year 
that is being given out is called the Alwyn Baptiste Senior Award. To get this award, I have to sit down at night and contemplate on who did certain things that fit into the criteria. The first award was given to Alwyn Baptiste Junior, Daddy Jones because he had to do the Junior Calypsonians and the Adult Calypsonians show and many other things that year when his father passed away. The second award that for the Alwyn Baptist Senior Award went last year to Tom Ada of the St. Croix um, Avis newspaper. And Tom, I uh, wish he could be here today, but he loved events like this here. You know, he was the first person to put me on the front page in 2013 with the awards. So again, it's been honored to um, Rashidi Clements as a radio DJ, owner of Vivid Streaming Online Radio, and it's the Arwin Baptist Senior Award. At Galloway's Record Shop, uh, Galloway's Restaurant, this 29th day of June, 2018. And um, don't, don't go without getting the box that you can put. Yeah, those, those would be the box that for those, for the trophies. Um, Galloway, Galloway stuff is all here. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it, because when she's packing, the packing material is still in, in, in there. Yeah. One side is for Tim and the next side for Rashidi. Okay, um, we're going back up and we're going to call Galloway. Um, I know Galloway, <laughs> I used to run to his record shop and I know Galloway must have used to get sick and tired of me coming in there. But you know what happened? He was at Lorraine. When I hear Doc James and the St. Craig Talent Club, of which I was a part of, come up with new music, I run to Bill Bar's shop, I run to Galloway, and I'm in there going through the music that he has. I'm watching what new equipment Galloway would have in his store. I, ha I bought a radio, I was telling him two days ago that I had that radio until maybe about five years ago. And people asked me, where did you get that? And I told them, like, Galloway. Listen, Galloway, <laughs> I never told you this, but my mom would pass Tina from Gallo Spain. When I went home and I told her that I'd been by Galloway, man, I know Galloway, man. I know his family. And <laughs> she started until she ended up with, I'm related to, um, Prince Galloway, Darby, and she went down the whole line, you know. But listen, to have a friend like this, when I came to Galloway, Galloway could have tell me to rent the place is five hundred dollars or more, or whatever he usually charges. Galloway said to me, Gerard, you're doing this free. You can come and do your production here. I'm going to tell you this, if I can get Galloway's place for next year, if we can get the Curriculum Center, and whatever price he wants to walk out, I'll come back here. Because you ain't gonna find nobody nowadays day like Galloway. I have awarded so many people, and if you notice, I'm not doing this with bands and things like that. There's a reason for it. Just like for those of you who are running for Senate, be careful. You might have people who are working with you and they're not working with you. They're against you. Um, well, this phone call will have to wait. God. <laughs> This is Wilfred to the Bomba Calibin. 
<laughs> See, I guess I was saying something that was so true. <laughs> I love that, I love that. <laughs> Next is gonna be Bogo boom, boom, calling me. <laughs> and and in, in short, I remember I was singing a year, going for King, and Bogle does this thing where he comes up to the end and he does double uh, example. And he, <laughs> he said, Gerald, he come up here, <laughs> but he going for King. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a nice experience, you know. I always admire listening to when Bogle does this example, and he does it at his best, you know. Let's get back to Galloway. So, <laughs> Galloway, I never told you, but my mom knew from, as a matter of fact, the whole of Gallows Bay <laughs> knows you. <laughs> and um, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for allowing me to use the place. Next year, if we can get it and we have to come up with some funds, we will do that, Carlo. Um, we're going to present to you. We have many stuff to present to you, but first let's do the Certificate of Achievement. This Certificate of Achievement is awarded to Ira Galloway Senior. Or oh, before I forget, Galloway was awarded from the Walk of Fame, uh, I think it was two years ago? Two years ago, yes on this 29th day of June in the year 2018 for being a dedicated humanitarian and for allowing me to use his restaurant for the award ceremony. Okay, we also decided to give Galloway the Star Tree of Light. We have some other stuff inside the bag but this one here is coming from the bottom of my heart and I'll let Maria give it to you. Maria, this is a token of my appreciation. Well, <laughs> people in the box, you can you can put it in the box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so that he don't stand there with the strain, you can put it in the box. And um, I'm sure Galloway would like to see a few remarks. Good day. Well, you know, I'm a person of just a few words, not much. <laughs> you know, I, I used to see Larry like practically every week. He used to catch a taxi or something, go to CVI, and he would always come in and pick up a little forty-five. I used to see my, like me, he was in the same house, cause he was there all the time buying a little forty-five, and he went to school, you know. That's you, yeah. He was CVI. He was going to CVI past few years before he got to a class. You know, I've known Larry for quite some time. He's a very nice person, you know. Um, when he came and told me the story, I said, Larry, wait, you have sponsors? He said, no. I said, Larry, you don't have no sponsors. You want to use the best? Oh, come. You know, like I said, a long time ago, and I keep saying, this place belongs to us. Right. But up to now, the us ain't it. Right. I really don't know what it's all about. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to say it. As a matter of fact, most of the events that is being kept up here is Spanish people. What? Spanish people. Wow. The next event, is Spanish, and it's somebody that is in the same business with me and didn't even know me personally till they come here. Wow. And this is how I survive, it's Spanish people. It's up to now, it's not us. I had my first club in 1976 up in Gallows Bay. So I know what it's all about when you go to rent or go to your own people 
They tell you, this is mine. Hey, you got to pay this or pay that. You understand? And I, I never really liked that kind of treatment. So I said, one of these days, I can build my own place and it's going to be ours. Like I say, up to now, it's not ours. Yeah. But I still have hope that one of these days, all of us will be able to work together. And right now, St. Croix is very beautiful, and I keep saying that. The love that used to be here is not here. Right. The young people, them, they're smart. They're born smart. But a lot of us, the older folks, like, ignore them. Right. They need help. Right. They can read and write very good, but they lack of something else. Right. And that something else is us. Right. We have to find a way to approach them. Right. You understand? You see the walk with the pants, they don't. And we drop one. Right. That's wrong. Right. There is a new way to approach them because they come from a way different generation to us. Right. You know, I see a guy walk up there the other day going to look for a job and he pants thing all the way down here. So I went between here and the other one and said, hey, why, you know, your belt. He said, yeah, I got a belt. I said, the belt got some kind of use. And the next Rasta guy said, yeah, you waist. <laughs> and he said, it's something else. He said, you, you're back. I said, yeah. I said, but it's something else, you know. I say, you're young and you have a long way to go. Come out to walk, you hurt your back. <laughs> These old men like we are, you man go pick him up. Because right. your back ain't good, so you right. got to protect yourself. Right. You understand? So you have to find a nice, jokey way to tell them to pull up their pants. Right. You know, when you go to work, and in the morning you tell them when you come out to work, instead of going to eat fast food, drink a little cereal. Right. You understand? And these are the things that we need to tell the young people. Because a lot of them, they come down there to look work. And I could have never believed it was so much of young people in St. Croix out there who come to look work. Six o'clock in the morning. Right. They come to look work. People, they're in the prime. It's time to work. They need a job. And you will never believe it. I had a little girl up here, and she would go in college. She said, $18 an hour. Huh? My bank book. I don't get my bank book. It's like, hello, thank you. I, I go in. And she called her friend and said, oh, you need the money, you better come. So if you see them around or you go down there by the way out, you'll see a whole, whole ton of young people, man and woman, walking. So a lot of people saying a lot of things about the companies, all this and the companies. A lot of them come out to work. They need work. And we got to look forward to see that they step like that. When we talk about the next generation ain't gonna be the next generation if we don't pay our dues. Right. You know? Thank you all for coming here. And some people come, maybe about seven out of eight. Maybe it's the first time, but it's all right. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you once again, Gallo. And uh, if you can patronize the bar with a drink, um, if you can do that. Um, I came up here and I was able to buy some food two days ago and I ate that food and now I have me want to come back to get some more. Um, quickly, I want to call Douglas Canton because Doggy is a classmate. He was a former senator and he's running for senate again and I would not be remiss to have him here and not for him not to say through us. Thank you, Ariel. You know, I, I have this, um, I won't call it a problem. Yes, I up and down in the community, and that's what I'm accustomed to be doing. Okay, just like Bogo, he up on the stage, loving the Calypso, that's what he'd like to do, and that's what he do, all right? So I'm glad that Lariel calmed me out <laughs> and made me step up and say, hey, yes, I know these things going on. Yeah, I'm number two on the Democratic primary ballot, and I'm asking the community for the support. But more important than that, I want the community to come out and vote. Don't be upset, because upset never change a thing for how you want it to be. If you don't vote, you turn the decision over to other people, and then you give up really your right to, to complain. So get out there and make your voice be heard. Yes, I put myself out as one of the qualified people that's asking you humbly for your support. But most important, 
I'm asking and pleading that you get involved and make this community into what you want it to be. Thank you so much, Larry. Thank you, Dougie. As always, I could come to you. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're going to St. Thomas now. For nine years in a row, this band have won road march. They are expecting me on July 2nd to come over to St. Thomas and do the awards live on radio as I've been doing in the past. The difference is that I usually do it in the afternoon on Peter Atley's show, but I'm going to be doing it on Adi Atley's show because Adi Atley is getting an award for um, a DJ and owner of the radio station WSCA Lucky Totting in St. Thomas. Um, this is Spectrum Band's trophy. Um, they have the stuff in this bag here. And also, Emmett P is a DJ on St. Thomas. His name is Emmett Propos. So they will be receiving their awards over there. This year, I don't know if he's here, we have a brand new award. This award is going to Educator, Unionist, AFT Union President of the Central, U <clears throat> Central Labor Council, President for 25 years of the AFT, Collective Bargaining Negotiator, and the award is called the 2018 Unionist Award, and it goes to Mr. Cecil Benjamin. If he's not here, we'll get the award to him. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, uh, I think we have covered everyone because this year we had to make it kind of short. I know many people have to go back to work and we must thank all Morris because all will tell you, oh, he has been added so many times in the past. Last year I gave him the director's chair. I, I think I ran out of awards to give to all, but all had me on my toes up to yesterday, and this morning, Galloway asked me, will all come? I said, no, all, all gonna come. <laughs> and when all came inside, I, 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 I quickly ran over to him, and I told him, I, 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 I'm glad he made it, you know? Because the difference with all is, let me tell you, when this thing started in 2013, and I went to all, all saw what it was about, and he has always maintained that when this event is coming, I'm, I'm going to do it, you know, and I thank him so much for that. All I don't know if you want to say a few words. Okay, no, he doesn't. Okay, well, he said thanks, you know. So um, I want to have Maria Friday say some remarks and then Annie. Annie, come up, please. Again, we just want to thank you for coming. Um, everyone that came up practically said um, the committee or the organizers, ladies and gentlemen, St. Croix, this is the committee. This is the organizer. This is the person that program, printing, setting the awards, he does it all. He will call me and say, I'm doing this and that, but to put it in these bags, to label it, to the desire, the words on the awards, everything comes from Lariel. And Lariel is sharing with our music world and our art world. But we have to say thank you over and over because for the past years, he has been also sharing with our courageous and prestigious class of 1973. Every Christmas, we get love from him. We get bags full of joy. You will think they might be meaningless, but everything in those bags means something, and it's something that we can use and enjoy because he loves a candy. He believes in chocolate in every form. Kisses, roses, soap, you name it, we have gotten it. And this year, we are in our 45th class reunion voyage and he graced us at our banquet with bags full of 
everything that you could have think of for a reunion. Our fan was a cap, okay? Your graduation cap was in the form of a hat. So what I don't think about, the teacher does it. So we want to really say thank you to L'Oreal. It's about L'Oreal, it's not about us. It's about the joy that he brings to other people and he does it all and all by himself. So again, L'Oreal, from the bottom of our heart, Community St. Croix, class of 1973, we love you. And you know we always on the run. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, L'Oreal. Um, I want to say right now, and I'm putting it on the record, I have a problem with my back, and it's been like that since an accident in 2002. The reason I'm putting it on the record is because I was called to go to court two times. And remember when I mentioned to you, even to the candidates, that you think sometimes you have people walking with you, you have people walking against you. I had to go to one of my classmates. I, I don't think I should call his name, and he wrote a letter for me. I had to get a doctor to write a letter. I understand somebody didn't believe that I'm actually ill. Bogle can testify to this. He hasn't seen me on the stage for so many years competing. I had to stop that. I put on music. When you came in, you heard some Calypso songs. Those are my latest songs. I don't go on stage anymore. But I wanted to be on the record, so in case they look to come after me, it's there on record. All is recording it. And they notice that it's not eight hours I'm standing up here. If it was for a little bit more, I would have to get a cheer, but it's on the record. So if anybody dispute whether I have a medical condition, it's on the record. Maybe that's the next Calypso I'll be making. Um, we'd like to thank all of you. Like we said, we're considering this thing for the night time, but like we said, you have to start creeping. I get more support from people away with this thing that you, you wouldn't believe it. Down with my own people here, they give you a problem, you know? To get on Mario's show the other day, I had to pay a hundred and, I think it's a hundred and thirty-five dollars. When I came off Mario's show, you ain't gonna believe what happened. When I reached right there by Sunny Island, it's like something tell me go to Galloway. And I came to Galloway and Galloway said, you can hold the event to me. So I lost $135 because it's best I come to Galloway from the beginning. But when you didn't know, you just didn't know, right. you know? And um, I remember speaking to Junie and I told him that I had to go on a show. And I support that station. I try to support other stations, but it's not so easy, like I said before, but we're going to continue, we're not going to stop. Yeah, so, stop. For, uh, can't stop. Um, I wish Darby was, it, there's a song I have there, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Uh, it's about a song that the local DJs won't play some of us music, you know? So uh, when, when Galloway gets a chance, if he could put on that song for me, I think it's track number two, I think, I think it is. Next time call me. Yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're trying um, for next year to have it in the evening because we know that many people would love to come in the evening. But then again, you have to give all his due because all just doesn't do this. He has to do things for the governor call him, uh, many people call him and he has to run to, do, to cover those events. So we'd like to thank you for coming and these awards that the people who want here, we, we will get it to them. Before I go, I'd like to let you know that I even went to Anguilla and presented an award down there to North Songban International. I went to Antigua and presented an award to King Zakari, whom I usually work with for the carnival. Right now, there are people in those islands who want me to come down and start an award. And who knows, it might happen. The first year that Zakari had won the crown when I came to be on stage playing a man spring, spring big on, on stage. Now I got all the work that me know it is, I don't even know. Again, some man named Stanford, that same Stanford that they arrested and he's in jail now. Well, 
Like I said, I went up on stage. Let me tell you, when Zachary won, those people heist me up like I was king over there. And over here, you won't find that happening. i like to say this before I close. Support Bogo. Support Douglas Canton. Any other um, people running for Senate in the House, support them. If you're thinking about people who are looking out for you, I can tell you both of them are. Okay? Um, support all. Support Galloway. Support Baga because what Baga said is the truth. It ain't easy with those pants. Today, I can't lift a pan to carry it. No, please. So, I, 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 after they came out of the Madrid's marching band, I didn't go back to Pan. I would have liked to, but the doctor said no. You know, you can't believe in that. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you for coming. This has been the sixth annual USVI Walk of Fame Music Awards video shoot. Yeah, yeah. Out. Oh.